What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the 1960s. Today, I'm going to go over my top 25 favorite singles from the early 1960s. What was happening? I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll stop with that segment for, for this time. Um, yeah, I finished up the uh, albums at uh, 2015 for now. Pause that. Uh, yeah, I was... It, it's... <laughs> is listening to an album from 19 not to say 2016 versus say 1976 there's a big difference big difference in the in the listening experience let me just tell you that so i said it's time to go to the singles i didn't do the singles i went straight to the album so here we are the 1960s i, I couldn't go back to the 50s it just i mean all those things are, are more, they're more nostalgic. Maybe I'd throw on a, like a song here and there. I actually, you know what, if I was going to go back to the fifties and listen to stuff, it's typically going to be more like the jazz type of things like Coltrane and Miles Davis, Charlie Parker, that type of stuff. But I was not really interested in uh, like pop songs, maybe some Elvis. I didn't mind Elvis. He had some good, good tunes. Um, he made my list this time. Uh, but uh, it's just more just, uh, oh, this, yeah, it's kind of, oh, that it's just nostalgic. It's not, it's not something I would throw on. There's like, I do, I did, I have 25 songs. I did make a top five. So that I have 20 honorable mentions, if you want to call them that. But, um, these songs I would put on because I want to listen to them. Like a lot of these other ones are like, oh, it's just, you know, a lot of these songs remind me of myself as a kid when I was checking out my parents uh, record collection you know i'd throw on a, a, a lot of compilations like you know a good five or six compilation albums and you're throwing stuff on and there's you know four or five hit songs and there's some throwaway stuff but sometimes those throwaway songs are the ones the deep cuts are the ones that ended up in my my favorite list so yeah i had some i had some good memories uh, a lot of these ones are yeah it was i think i was probably like five six seven for the first time checking out my parents records and uh, yeah there's some good tunes on here so yeah so the for this one i'll just stick with you know 1960 to 1965 because 1965 that starts to get the songs i i like and i'm not just like oh this is kind of cute like you know, maybe 64 there's there's a few tracks on there but for the most part it's just it's close enough to what you know say led zeppelin or kiss or rush it's getting close to sounding like that, whereas the stuff in like the late fifties, early sixties is still like a little, you know, it's just it just seems hokey. Like you know, you watch Grease and they're at the soda shop and that type of stuff, and like uh, American Graffiti, that type of. No, I just can't. I can't do that stuff. So let's get to it. Let's go for my top twenty. Well, my bottom twenty. <laughs> Uh, my, my bottom 25 or my bottom 20 of 25 so i'll just read them off here quick and we'll just i'll i'll just have a list in the bottom so i won't go through them too fast but uh, here we go up first we got palisades park from freddie cannon surfing usa from the beach boys surf city from jan and dean little honda the hondells theme from a summer place percy faith my mom had made a mixtape one time, and this one was, uh, I remember going, we would drive up to the Okanagan area in British Columbia, a place called Penticton. And I remember this was on a mixtape. I'm pretty sure there was some red, it was a black cassette tape, and it was some red. It was my mom's mixtape. It was a kind of do, do, do. It's kind of slow, but it's actually a very well-written, pretty song. So, uh, Satisfaction, The Rolling Stones, It Ain't Me, Babe, The Turtles, Try Me, James Brown. Love Man, Otis Redding, Baby Love, The Supremes, Green Onions, Booker T and the MGs, Can't Help Falling in Love, Elvis Presley, Louie Louie, The Kingsman, I Only Want to Be With You, Dusty Springfield, You Really Got Me, The Kinks, Gloria, Them, Be My Baby, The Ronettes, I Got You, Babe, Sonny and Cher, Hang On Sloopy, The McCoys, and This Diamond Ring, Gary Lewis. Um, there's a lot of songs like like I remember seeing Dirty Dancing. That Dirty Dirty Dancing soundtrack is is excellent, with the minor exception of uh, Patrick Swayze's song. <laughs> She's like the wind. 
<laughs> I don't even know how that made it to be a, a famous song, but let's get to my top five. At number five, I have Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow by the Shirelles. I think this is one of the first songs I remember feeling sad. It's a sad song. And I'm just, I remember, I don't know what I was feeling or what I was thinking in my head, but I'm just like, this song it makes me feel sort of bad and sad. Like, just, I don't know what it, what it is. It's a very well-written song. It's a pretty song, but I just, this is a song I remember the first, I'm pretty sure this is the first song I ever thought of sadness. And it's a nice song, so. Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow from the Shirelles, coming in at number five. Coming in at number four, we've got California Dreamin' from the Mamas and the Papas. And these songs, again, I will throw these on and listen to them because I'm, oh, I haven't craving it, haven't heard that in a while. So beautiful track, uh, cool intro. Do, 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 do. All the leaves are brown. And the sky is gray. Uh, California, like Southern California, L.A. Uh, oh, man, I the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. I love Los Angeles. I love Los... I love... I just love the area. It's beautiful. And this song is like the quintessential California song. So California Dreamin' from the Mamas and the Papas at number four. At number three, we got one of the more rocking, earlier rocking tunes. This one's uh, this one's up there, man. This is "For Your Love" by the Yardbirds. This one is uh, is is has a tempo change. That tempo change is so good. I thought it's just uh, it's, it's so great. I threw it on just before I came out here, and this is it's pretty uh, pretty aggressive for sixty four. I think this was sixty four, maybe sixty five. But I I like the Yardbirds as well. I mean, this still again, it's kind of that sixty sound. So it would have been around for obviously Jeff Beck and Jimmy Page and that. But yeah, this uh, this tune is good. So that's for your love, the Yardbirds coming in at number three. Coming in at number two, this is uh, one of their biggest hits for sure. One of the songs that they got known very well for. This is I Want to Hold Your Hand by the Beatles. This song still pops. It still rocks. It's got a great hook. Oh, yeah. Like, this is one of those songs where, like, like you know, as a young kid, um, like the, uh, SNL, um, uh, the, it was, uh, Skid Row was on there, Kiefer Sutherland and Adam Sandler. And they did like the kids are the nursery rhymes and they had Kiefer Sutherland's pretending to play guitar and, Whoa, and then, uh, 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 Adam Sandler, Jimmy crack corn and the kids on the bed. Yeah. Cause it's just like that rocking guitar. I want to hold your hand. Do -da -do, do -do -do -do. It's got that sort of aggressiveness. As a kid, you feel like this thing inside you. Like, what is this? And this is one of those first songs I remember from. I don't know what it is. It's one of those things, man. Like, like with metal music, everybody's like banging their heads and like jumping, whatever. We just, music does this. So I want to hold your hand was kind of that one song for me. So I want to hold your hand by the Beatles coming in at number two. And easily my most favoritest track from 1965 and bef before. Well, I got to say the 60s because there's some decent uh, jazz tracks. I think I would have thrown some jazz tracks in there uh, for the 50s, but whatever. Coming in at number one, we've got easily. It is I Can't Explain from The Who. This song rocks. It was one of my favorite songs of theirs from the get-go, and it still remains. I still will throw this song on. I really enjoy it. Yeah, so, yeah, that's my list. That's my list of 25 from 60 to 65. I think next time I will try. I've not gone into it. I didn't want to mess up my brain with some things because I think there'll be quite a few. Um, I'll try to stick to one 
song per artist per year. Um, I don't want to be doing, you know, here's three Beatles, here's three The Who, and here's whatever, a couple, you know, Jimi Hendrix and some Cream. There you go, four of ten songs from whatever. Four artists for ten songs is not really fair. So I'm going to try to keep it one artist per year um, and so one song per artist per year. And I think maybe we'll, we'll we'll aim for ten. If I get more than ten, we'll just we'll go more than that. Maybe we'll do fifteen or twenty. But we'll stick with ten for now. I'm assuming, but we will see for the next time. So hopefully we can get these things a little bit a little bit more frequent. Maybe every five days I'll get on these and uh, not leave so much time in between. So until next time, I'll catch you guys then. Peace. <laughs>